Town Judge, Reverend Reporter. In this episode, we'll be broadcasting a special feature on the 52nd, an 52nd anniversary of the Valley of Chile earthquake. And I'm Taylor Bell, and this is 59 Minutes. This week, we'll be have a very special guest, the world-renowned scientist, John Hobacher. <laughs> and this is what he has to say on this devastating topic. Hello, I'm Dr. Hobacher. Fifty-two years after this devastating 9.5 earthquake in Chile, you are still finding out new amazing facts. One of which is, the volcano that erupted uh, by cause of the earthquake spit out millions of gallons of ash into the air, which devastated the travel lines, the uh, ships, and planes. Even though the ash from this volcano affected Chile in many ways, it didn't get very much coverage because of its larger brother, the tsunami. That's waves affected as far as Japan and Alaska. The tsunami was so large, it swept away even some houses and uh, completely obliterated some villages from the face of the map. 40% uh, of the houses were destroyed in this earthquake. Buildings fell and left whole city blocks uninhabited for 20 to 30 years. In this devastating earthquake, complete mountainsides slid off and were defaced. One of which even dammed up a river and if re released all at once, would have massive causes of destroying a city. This, of course, was protected by the government and was safely slowed down. If you would like to learn more about this interesting earthquake, uh, you can check out my book, The Shadow of Death. Even uh, the earthquake only appeared to be the small ash in the smoldering fire of Chile's death. To further explain the destruction and horror of this massive earthquake, we are brought in this detailed model of a Chilean cement building and wooden building. These before and after buildings are very common structures in Chile, but they were unfortunately unstable. The Chilean cement buildings were the main victims of this horrific incident because of their heavy material and poor structure. The wooden houses were not as slaughtered compared to the cement. This was because of their flexibility. These houses were destroyed in a matter of seconds, and in some cases, even villages were swept away by the massive tsunami. These houses did not stay unchanged, and they went on to evolve. These houses did evolve by becoming more earthquake ready. Although Chile is a country of poverty, they did make slight changes in the construction of bases and structure of homes, thus preparing themselves for future onslaught of natural disasters. This just in, search Searching through the archives, we have found some rare footage from the 1960 Chile earthquake. interesting video. We're back here in Valdivia, Chile, at the spot of the epicenter of this horrible earthquake. We're here with our special friend, park ranger of the National Wildlife Association. Well, I guess this concludes our episode of 59 Minutes. See you next time!